Welcome back, everybody. We're here to pull cards for April the 13th. I am going to be pulling one card for overall energy. And after that, we'll pull one card for each sign. And we'll see how that energy melds together for our predictions for each sign as we go through the zodiac today. Feel free to check out not only your sun sign, but also your moon sign and your rising, as well as potentially your Venus, if you know how to look at that. And maybe your Mercury, your Jupiter, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. All right, overall energy it comes up as the Great Bear. I like this card. I just think it's a beautiful card, and I also like what it talks about. So, the Great Bear is a card that talks about bringing things back to life that we um, haven't been really focusing on for a while. So, something where we used to put our energy and our effort. Um, we haven't been doing that. Now we have the opportunity to put our energy and our effort again. This can be um, things like um, an old relationship can come back. This can be um, if we used to work in a particular industry, we can get a job back in that industry, sometimes even maybe with the same company. I've seen it come up like that too. Um, but just bringing something back to life that we used to be involved in before one way or the other. So let's see how this plays out for everybody. Alrighty, 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 Aries. What is going on, Aries? You're coming back into some kind of leadership position that you were in before, or similar to one that you had before. And we see you really leading in a great way, leading with a lot of integrity, leading by inspiring your people, not by cracking the whip. <laughs> but by inspiring them to do good work and having a lot of integrity about your leadership, not playing favorites, not letting people get away with stupid stuff while other people are carrying 90% of the workload, you know, just really leading with great integrity. And this is something you've done before. We're just seeing this come back into play in your life again. Okay, so for Taurus, we have the Two of Bows. So we have a decision today, those of us with Taurus placements, we have a decision today about whether we want to go back to doing something the way that we used to or in some type of situation that we used to be in. It's going to be our choice whether we do or not. What comes up here with the Two of Bows is that whichever choice we make is going to be just fine, you know. We have motivations for going either way, and either way is going to be just fine. Next, we're looking at Gemini. Excuse me. So Gemini's page of stones showing up in reverse. Ba ba da da. Ba ba da da. Gemini's, I think what we have here is that page of stones in reverse is some kind of news about money or about material goods that is not the kind of news we like to hear and this may be motivating you to get involved with something that you used to be involved with or become active in something you used to be active in before so maybe um, taking on a different job or another job or whatever i mean everybody that's going to play out a little different or manifest a little differently but i think the motivation is this news about money or material goods that we're not so thrilled about I mean, this could even just have us going back and talking to an insurance company. Um, you know, like if they're trying to say, oh, we're not going to pay for this, then it's really not reasonable. We could be going back and talking to them. And if we've done that before, especially, then that would make it, this is an especially likely scenario. Okay, who was that? Gemini. Next up, we're looking at Cancer. Okay, so Cancer, you've got the Forest Lovers showing up here. This is definitely talking about some kind of partnership that you were in before makes its comeback again today. Next up, we're looking at, it doesn't have to be romantic just because it says the forest lovers, by the way, cancers could be another business partnership, friendship, whatever. Now, ba -ba -da -da, Leo, Knight of Stones showing up in reverse. Oh, you're going back to a way that you used to um, do things to relax and rejuvenate yourself, and you haven't done that for a long time. That's kind of sweet. I like it. Virgo. Ace of Vessels showing up in reverse. Oh, my goodness. You're seeing somebody's true colors again, Virgo. You've seen these true colors before, 
I'm kind of feeling like, I don't know if this is the best way to say it, but the words that I'm hearing are like, it's like you need a reminder of this person's true colors. So you may be trying to make a decision about this person or about, you know, uh, your level of interaction with them moving forward. And they remind you of what their true colors are. And that should inform your decision is what I'm guessing there. Next up, let's look at Libra. Ten of Pentacles in, or Ten of Vessels in reverse, trying to upgrade your happiness, working on upgrading your happiness. And in order to upgrade your happiness, you're going back into a situation that you used to be a part of before. Scorpio. Eight of Bows coming up in reverse. This talks about... Hmm. This talks about the idea that you can't, um, when this comes up in reverse, it talks about the idea of it's not a good idea to share home stuff with people at work. And it's also not a good idea to share work stuff with people at home. These two don't cross over right now in your life. And so basically this is saying that you've been in this situation before or a situation similar before. And basically is the heads up that we're coming back into that situation where we want to be careful not to let things cross over anymore again. <clears throat> okay, next up we're looking at Sagittarius. Sagittarius, eight of arrows coming up here. What do we have? Mm-hmm. Sagittarius, this is some kind of struggle from the past that you were involved in before. Um, I'm hearing that you feel like it's a righteous cause, with air quotes around righteous cause. Um, and so I think that you are jumping back into the struggle again. You may have taken a little bit of a break from it. You may have gotten a little disenchanted with it. Now you're coming back into this righteous cause again. Interesting. Somebody's sounding like a hippie around here. Capricorn. Ooh, Capricorns, you guys are getting back. Oh, this is interesting. I wanted to say you guys are getting back in touch with your own intuition. Not necessarily true for all of you. Some of you may be getting back in touch with your own intuition. Absolutely, with that seer card coming up there. A lot of you are getting back in touch with somebody who is mystical or is psychic or intuitive. So maybe you have a regular reader that you're going to be reaching out to or a reader that you used to go to that you're going to be reaching out to. Or maybe you just happen to have a friend or maybe even an ex who's a mystic or a psychic or something like that that we see you reaching out to. I mean, this can manifest so many different ways. The options are there. The options are endless, but you guys are going to recognize what fits closer for you. Um, da, 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 da. So next up we need who? Aquarius. Two of stones coming up in reverse. <clears throat> we like this one in reverse, I think. Especially in this deck, because in this deck it talks about challenge a lot of times, and that's what I feel like it is. Looks to me like you've been going through some challenging times. Now you're coming back into a situation where there's not so much challenge going on. There's a little bit more whew, breathing time. Okay. Next, we're looking at Pisces. Five of Stones coming up in reverse. Boop, ba, da, do. Boop, boop. Okay, what's happening here? Oh, yeah, you're at the end of endurance. So this is an interesting card, especially in this deck, because it is labeled as endurance. And those of you who have heard me, you've heard me say before, endurance is such an interesting, fascinating concept to me because it talks about, I'm putting up with some straight out baloney, basically, because I feel like if I do that long enough, things are going to get better. Well. Maybe. <laughs> I, I think. Maybe. Maybe not. Um, I also have this card come up when people are out of town and somebody's waiting for somebody to come back home. Uh, so that I can kind of see. But um, basically this is saying, who am I talking to again? Yeah, Pisces. This is basically saying that you have been waiting for something to get better and that waiting is over. Now you're back to um, 
the good old way, <laughs> I guess, if we want to say it like that. Go back to the good old way. The endurance part is over. Waiting for things to get better again is over for you, Pisces, today. Okay, so that's what I've got for everybody. Thank you so much for being here and hanging out with me. I do appreciate all you guys' wonderful support. Thank you for putting a thumbs up on this video, sharing it with others, and putting comments down below. And I'm looking forward to working directly with some of you later on on the phone or online. And the rest of you, I'll see you back on the next video. Peace out.